tell me what life was like then, Paul, because I know that you lost friends. I know you lost support. For the BBC, for example, as, as your main employer, what happened there? Well, uh, the minute I was named, uh, I was dropped. And uh, they broke my contract. I didn't know they could do that. They stopped paying me. But there was a loophole in my annual contract, which allowed them to stop paying me and stop having me on. Is that something to do with bringing the organization into disrepute or something? Well, we all know that that's the reason why. Uh, there was no official reason given. No official reason given. The technicality was my show was an independent production. And so they said to my producer, we will not broadcast any programs that have Paul in it. So therefore, you won't get money for those. So he couldn't pay me. So that was that. I found it amazing that at radio level, uh, both uh, Radios 2 and Radio 4, we can mention them in this context, they were all supportive because as with people in this building where there are uh, more than one radio station that I have been on before, the people know me. But the BBC Higher Management doesn't know me because the BBC Higher Management is people who go from sector to sector, uh, sometimes not even broadcast uh, companies, and they're just more interested in their own career ladder than they are in the people who actually work for the BBC. So they don't really know me, although I do know the Director General, but from the moment I was arrested, I've never heard from him. Did you ever hear from any of the senior people? No. And the amazing thing was... You know, so where did you get the information from? How did it filter through to you? Oh, it all came through the Editors, radio producers. networks. The radio networks uh, had to say, you're off. Now, they were all unhappy about this, but it was the central management uh, philosophy that I was to instantly become a non-person. The amazing thing about that is that uh, only three weeks previous, there had been anniversary seasons, 40 years of Paul, on both Radios 2 and Radio 4. So I went within one month from being Mr. 40 Years to Mr. Who? Uh, Mr. And Gone. Mr. Mm -hmm. Gone. I was edited out of a Christmas comedy special I'd already recorded. Uh, I w had a program that was going to go out on Radio 4 for the anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination, and that was pulled, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. Quite interesting. I mean, he had a few notes there, but he wasn't doing a long no, prepared he text. He said what he thought. And I mean, the thing that strikes me, the scale of his win on the first uh, round. I mean, all this talk about, well, within a few months, Labour MPs will be plotting to get rid of him. That isn't going to.